Hello everyone and welcome to a new video with the CS Revelation. Today we're going to be working with the update statements. Uh, so in Oracle Apex, uh, we're going to be using the update statement to uh, modify existing data in database tables. So uh, for that, we need to create the following table. I'm going to post the code for creating this table and inserting data into it uh, below in the description. So feel free to copy it and use it. So the first table that we're creating is planet tables. So this is the code to create. It's composed of seven columns. There's one thing that I wanted to mention here. Uh, a lot of people ask me about it. And it tends to be confusing because when you look at a uh, data type that is numeric and it has, let's say, a certain number of digits and decimal values, uh, it's a little bit, it's actually done a little bit differently, uh, not the normal way you could think of in uh, Apex, is what this means, 10 comma 4, uh, it means that there will be four decimal values basically out of these 10 digits there will be four of them allotted for the decimal part so it's not 10 really whole number part it's actually just six but uh the other four will be for the decimal part so 10 uh digits in total but six will be for the whole number part and four uh out of the 10 will be for the decimal part that's just something i wanted to mention so creating the tables so the table uh, is created. Uh, the next thing I want to do, I would like to insert uh, some planets into my table. Into my table, um, and for that, I'm only inserting six planets uh, for testing purposes. So this is the code to insert uh, these planets. Uh, of course, if you'd like to insert all of these rows all at once. You basically put them in a begin and end, uh, and then you can just run a whole code as just one statement, and it should say statement process, and therefore all the data has been inserted. I could uh, confirm that by running a select statement uh, from planets table. Now, uh, I should have five planets in my table. So you see, you notice I have five planets here with these columns that I have defined. But notice that the first row here is called planet X with zeros. I just left that in purpose just so we could use it for our update statements. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do with the update is how do we update a single column in a row? So we would like to see how we can update a single column in a row. So update single column in a row. What that means is that you're trying to update a single cell based on a certain condition. So the syntax uh, for an update query is update table name. So it is update table name. And then you use a set command there. So set column name uh, equal new value. Uh, where condition. Uh, so in order for us to do, so hey, here's an example. Let's suppose that for the first planet here, which is planet X, we would like to change or update its number of moons from zero to five. So basically we want to say that planet X has five moons. So the column that we want to update is P num moons. We want to set that equal to five. Uh, of course, where condition, the condition is going to be used to distinguish or to specifically say this is the row I'm talking about. So what distinguishes all these rows from each other is the primary key, which is planet ID. Uh, all these values are unique. So if I would like to distinguish uh, the planet X from the rest of them, I would say where planet ID equals one. So I'm updating the table planets. So I'm going to say update planets uh, and I'm going to set uh, what column is it so we're trying to set its p num moons p num moons by the way it's not case sensitive so you don't have to type it all in caps so p num moons equal to five this is the new value that I want to set it to but I would like to specify exactly what row I'm talking about so if I want to talk about the first row which is planet x 
I must say that where uh, planet act, oh, I'm sorry, where uh, planet ID, so where planet ID is equal to one. So if I run this, I should get one row updated. Uh, it says one row has been updated. Uh, I could confirm that that you know update has taken effect so there you go I got five here as the number of my moons but the only row that was updated it's uh, this row that satisfy the condition of planet ID equals one none of the other rows have planet ID equals one therefore I'm only updating planet num column where row has ID equal one so the intersection between this column and this row is this so this cell here is mod updated to 5. Now, if I did not specify this condition here, and I simply ran the code without the condition, all of these rows will have their p number of moons set to 5, because I haven't specified what exactly, what row exactly I'm going to be making uh, the update. So the condition here is mandatory if you would like to just update a single a uh, column in a row, and uh, not multiple rows. Um, okay, so that's one thing. Uh, the next thing I want to show you is how to update, how to update multiple columns in a row. So instead of updating just one column, I'd like to update multiple columns. Say, for example, I would like to, in one update statement, I'd like to set the mass to new mass, the diameter to a new diameter, the gravity to a new gravity, and the length to a new length, right? But in one update query, rather than using five or four different update queries. So to do that, I basically use the update table name, which is planets. Uh, and I'm going to say that I'm setting the following column. So the first column is P underscore mass. Uh, and I would like to set it equal to, let's say, 100. Then I put comma there to separate uh, these columns from each other. So I'm saying set this P mass. And because I did comma, the next column is diameter. Okay, so and P underscore diameter equals, let's say, for example, 2000. And then a comma so I could put the next column that I'm updating. It's P uh, gravity. P underscore gravity equals 5, let's say, 0.9. This is an imaginary planet, by the way. <laughs> it doesn't exist. Uh, and then I'm setting P uh, length. So it's length of day uh, to equal to, uh, let's say, 24. So it's like 24 days. Uh, comma, length of day, sorry, 24 hours. Uh, and then uh, these are the four columns that I want to set their values to new values. Uh, so no need for an extra comma. If you put an extra comma, it's expecting you that you're going to update another column. Uh, so if that's all the columns you want to update, that's it. And then you're going to put a where uh, here to specify what row are you updating all these columns for. So we're interested in updating these columns here, right? Uh, and that is for the first row that has planet ID equals one. So I say planet ID is equal one. So if I run this, I'm going to notice that it's going to say, so diameter is misspelled. Okay, so diameter misspelled. So if I run this now, uh, it says one row has been updated because I'm only updating one row that satisfies this condition here where planet ID equals one. Now let's see if it updated all those columns. So I'm going to do select star from planets. And notice that now I have 100 for my P mass, 2000 for my P diameter, 5.9 for the gravity, and 24 for the length of day. I updated all these four columns at the same time in just one update query. So this is another uh, example of how you can use the update uh, query. Uh, one more thing, um, how can we use the update query to update uh, a single column, but it's going to be involving its self-update. What that means is 
uh, in a factor of its value, that column is going to be updated. So for example, let's say we want to increase or decrease the diameter by 5%, right? We want to decrease the diameter of this planet by 5%. So it's going to be update table name, that is planets. And we're going to set uh, what column is it is going to be the diameter, right? So it's P underscore diameter, spell it right this time, is equal to, we said it's a self-update, that means it's going to use self-value, so it's going to be P underscore diameter again. Uh, so P underscore diameter multiplied by 0 0.95. Uh, of course, we have to add a where clause to say that we're talking about uh, the first row and not all the rows. Uh, later on, I'll show you how to actually update all the rows all at once. Uh, so planet ID equals one. So that's because I want to limit my update to the first row. Um, so notice that we are basically multiplying the current value with 0 0.95, and that's basically saying keep just 95% of that, right? So that's going to decrease it. So let's just run it. Uh, this is saying not properly ended, and that is because uh, diameter, okay, is spelled right, update point, so where planet ID equals one. Okay, so you probably selected something extra. So uh, one row uh, has been updated. So this is uh, uh, one successful update. Let's say, let's see the current values now. If it was 2000, let's see now the plant. So it's decreased by 5%. And that is subtracting 100. So that's called self-update. Now let's suppose that um, you wanted to give an increase uh, to... Uh, let's say the number of moons, uh, we want to increase them by 10, right? So we want to increase all of these at the same time. So we want to increase all the rows at the same time. So what that means is that you're actually updating all the rows. So you're not going to limit it to just one row. That's why you're not going to need that where clause. You're not going to need that condition. So you're saying update this table called planets and set, uh, the column name is P num moons uh, equals to p num moons plus 10, right? So it's the current, the current number of moons plus 10. So if I didn't put a condition there and I run this, it should say five rows have been updated, right? So five rows are updated. Now, if I uh, view the table, notice that all the number of moons have been increased by 10, right? So previously we had 0, 0, we had 1, and we had 2, and we had 5 here, and now they are increased by 10. That's because I ran this update statement without a where clause. It means it shouldn't look for what row to be updated. It's just updating all the rows uh, all at once uh, with this new value. Okay, so this is uh, the first uh, video, and this is on uh, single table updates. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to update multiple tables. Uh, means how to involve multiple tables using uh, one update. Also, we're going to take a look at uh, using subqueries uh, in updates. So I hope you liked the video. I hope you found this helpful. Please hit the thumbs up and subscribe and share this video with everyone that um, may find this uh, useful. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.